Um, I remember in uh, in Pinondo in my previous church, China was mentioned in the Old Testament as sinning. I may be wrong, you can check it out. Uh, you can look concordance to this sinning. Anyway, another identifying factor of China in the Bible is uh, the what uh, Pastor Nestor quoted in Revelation chapter 9 verse 12 or oh, 16. 16. The, in the sixth trumpet, you can read there a number of the horses, horsemen, as 200 200 uh, million. 200,000 thousand. That's 200 million. So no other country on earth can master that much uh, amount of army. No, not even the states, not even Russia. Only China. But there's an additional twist to this. Uh, in the sixth trial, he also quoted Revelation 16 verse 12. I uh, take note of this word. The kings of the east. I think there is a coalition that will gather in the east. This coalition of nations will go against a call the European Union. Because there will be a great battle between these two power blocks. When you say block, a group of nations that come together. Which are, who are the most populous countries on earth today? It's China and there's another, India. And they could join forces together as a, as a powerful economic block, as a political block, as a military block to attack. Now, the river Euphrates is a boundary going to Israel. So they could not readily go there, but it has to be dried up. So it will come from their direction. If you look at the map, India and China goes alongside. Now, if it's an Asian block, maybe Japan, maybe the Philippines, maybe Indonesia could join along uh, with that coalition. Now, the Muslims are blood brothers to the Jews by way of Abraham through Ishmael. And the Muslims today are having an... Uh, uh, since they are vilified uh, with their terrorist acts. But one day, uh, but as the Prophet said, you should watch out for the Vatican. Uh, one day, these Muslims will die down uh, in their influence. Uh, the Messianics believe they're the Antichrist, but the Antichrist is actually really the Vatican. So, eventually they will recognize their kinship with Israel because the Bible declares it in Isaiah chapter 60, 66. Sheba and Dedan, they will uh, give their gold. Haggai chapter 2, they will give or contribute gold to the rebuilding of the temple. So, United States and Russia out of the picture. And the new top power blocks that will come out is uh, the European Union and the coalition with China. China alone could master 200 million foot soldiers. But if they join forces with India and many others, they could really uh, have that amount. The European Union could not even master that amount of foot soldiers. The way the European Union will fight them is by technology. Now, uh, Europe is much nearer to Israel. When the Pope will move its seat of government from Vatican to Jerusalem, and uh, in Revelation chapter 17, it said there the beast will kill the woman that is sitting or riding on her. Um, if you would quote that Russia will destroy the Vatican, part of Russia has broken up. That part of Russia could join the European Union. And the European Union will, will be the beast which the Roman is riding. And why will the European Union destroy the Vatican? It has happened before in history. It will just happen again. They imprisoned the Pope. But this time around, if the Pope has moved its seat of government to the Vatican, uh, sorry, from the Vatican to Jerusalem, then the Pope 
was was not in the Vatican when it was destroyed. Then that's the point in time when the prophet said that he will break the covenant with many. That will start the war because that's a peace covenant for seven years. And in the midst of that seven years, he will break the peace covenant. And when he breaks that peace covenant, that will start the wings of war. That will start what we read in the trumpet when the angels that are holding the wings will will let go so that the preparations for war to make way for the kings of the east. It will not immediately be war in the midst of the week, but towards the end of the week, the last part, the last end part of the uh, last week, that will be Armageddon. And Armageddon will be interrupted by Christ. Take note. When the Papa, when Pope, the Pope destroys the covenant, then it destroys the agreement. Then they start for they start for Israel. The Pope is already in Israel. But as I mentioned before, I, uh, Daniel chapter 11, where it talks about Antiochus Epiphanes being squeezed in the middle between Rome and Egypt. It's the type of the Pope. He will be squeezed between the European Union that destroyed the Vatican and China, which will come as kings from the East and its coalition. Uh, but as Second Thessalonians say, it will be Christ who will kill the Pope himself, the Antichrist. Now what happens as they come along? They will meet in the valley called Megiddo, that's Armageddon. Megiddo, Megiddo. Okay, so when they meet at the valley co called Megiddo, Matthew chapter 24, Unless those days shall be shortened, no flesh shall be saved. So, you can read, even read in the trumpets, there are those people who did not have, have the part of the beast, but they were not killed. They will be survivors. What will happen then? If they will be allowed to go hand, smack together, um, the whole world will be destroyed by nuclear weapons. No flesh will be left alive. But for the next sake, those days will be shortened. Uh, the elect is not just the foolish virgins that will be killed, they're already killed. They were, they were already hunted down. But there's another elect which is called the ship nations, the heathens, that will be taught in the Now, when they go smack together, notice in Revelation 19. Could you open in Revelation chapter 19? Revelation chapter 19, verse. Uh, Revelation, uh, Revelation chapter 19, verse 19. Let's open our Bible there. I mentioned this before last in our previous 